In this article, we're going to take a close look at if statements and how you can take advantage of them in your application. To follow along with me, open up your browser and type in dartpad.dev. Clear out everything to where you only see main. Now, before we start, what are if statements actually used for? This may seem obvious, but there are going to be times that you're going to want to do certain things in your app based on if a certain condition is met. For example, you might want to show different information to your user based on if they are logged into your app or not. Or you might want to have sound effects playing if the user has enabled sound. So the general idea is, if some conditions evaluate to true, run a series of commands. Let's take a look at the simplest version of an if statement. So this simply says, if true evaluates to true, which obviously it will, print success, and of course it works. Let's say we have three people that interact with the company. Barbara, who is the president of the company, she's on floor three. Larry, who handles marketing for the company, is on floor two. And Billy, who is a cashier where the storefront is, he's on floor one. So let's say Larry is logging into our app. Let's create an if statement that will say hello to Larry when he starts the app. To get our desired result, we will use the equality operator, which is two equal signs put together. And because the name variable is set to Larry, it says hello to him. If you want to say two things to Larry, you can group your commands in curly brackets. So if we do this, You'll see now that since Larry's the one using our app, he will be greeted twice. But what if someone other than Larry is using our app? We can then use else to give everyone else their own greeting. So if it's not Larry, let's just do a simple hello like this. And since Barbara is the one using our app now, she just sees hello. Let's change it up and say everyone is allowed in our app except for Billy. We'll say the app is upper management base and since he's a cashier, he doesn't need access to it. We will keep our else, but then change our if statement. We'll use an inequality operator or an exclamation point and equal sign to say that we don't want to allow Billy into our app. So if the user is not Billy, we greet them and tell them to have a nice day. But if it is Billy or else, then we say, you shall not pass. What if we wanted to give someone else a special greeting? We can use an else if to give them a greeting of their own. We will do a little rearranging.
So if the user is Billy, we don't let him in like normal. Else, if it's Barbara, then we can say, Hi Barbara, the company is running smoothly. If it's anyone other than Billy or Barbara, we're going to say, Hey name, have a great day. We run that and we should see, Hi Barbara, the company is running smoothly. Now let's say the company hired a new cashier called Aaron. We will change our code to say if the user is Aaron or Billy, we want to let them know they do not have access to the app. We will do that with what's called a logical or operator this way. The logical or operator means that either A can be true or B can be true or both can be true. In this case, Aaron does match one of the names. So we are telling him to hit the road. But there's a simpler way to do this. Remember the cashiers are all on the first floor. So we can simply just say if the user's floor is less than two represented with the less than sign, don't allow access. So create a variable for the floor. And then we will change this right here. And if we run this, we should get the same result. So simply put, if the user's floor is less than two, they're not allowed in the app. Otherwise, they're good to go. We could actually write this as floor equals one as well. So now let's build the login to support all the floors and the restrictions that the company has. We will tell the first floor that they aren't allowed, send the second floor to the marketing screen, and then send the third floor to the administration screen. We will do it like this. And as you see, since we are on floor one, we do not have access to the app. But there's a cleaner way we can do this. We can use something called a switch case or a switch statement. So we will do this. It's a little bit cleaner, even though it technically takes up more lines. And as you see, it still gives the same results. As a bonus, we will talk about ternary operators, which is a short form of writing if else statements.
So if the floor equals one, they will be denied access to the app. Otherwise they are welcomed. And we can see they're currently denied. But we could actually shorten this dramatically like so. And as you see, because we are on floor one, we are still denied. So that's an introductory look at if statements. In our next video, we're going to take advantage of this information and add if statements to our grocery app. I'll see you there.